In this video, we are going to talk about 10 secret facts about friends. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Here are the worst behind the scenes secrets about the cast that have surfaced since 2004, 14 years after Friends concluded. No one could have predicted how popular Friends would become when it originally debuted in 1994. It was just another sitcom at the time, but it went on to become the most popular sitcom of the 1990s, and it continues to gain new fans today owing to its addition to Netflix. The antics of Rachel, Jennifer Aniston, Monica, Courtney Cox, Phoebe, Lisa Kudrow, Ross, David Schwimmer, Chandler, Matthew Perry, and Joey, Matthew LeBlanc, were such a sensation that they launched the ensemble to stardom and paid them up to $1 million per episode in the final seasons. Friends fans may believe that they have learned everything there is to know about the show by now. They know what Chandler did for a living, he wasn't a transposer, and how he addressed his correspondence to Miss Chandler Bong. They know who Rachel dated during her on again, off again relationship with Ross, Monica's photo organization, and how much Joey owes Chandler after all these years. You may be familiar with all of the narrative aspects, but do you also know all of the behind the scenes secrets? In the years since the show initially aired, many mysteries about the cast have been uncovered, ranging from addictions and pet peeves to plot elements, deleted sequences, and unset injuries. How many of these friends behind the scenes facts did you already know? Number 10. Matt LeBlanc had a serious injury on set. Joey and Chandler engage into a, hilariously, ludicrous quarrel over a space on one of Monica's chairs in, the one where no ready, ones and end up both rushing to sit on it at the same moment. So we both race to the chair, and I have to step over the coffee table and land on this big, huge comfortable chair. I ended up completely upside down. I was going to land on my head between the table and the chair, so I put my arm up to break my fall and exploded my shoulder, Matt LeBlanc explained on Jimmy Kimmel. Joey claimed to have damaged it jumping on the bed, and the injury was incorporated into the show. Number 9. Matt LeBlanc was arrested for drunk driving. Matt LeBlanc was already becoming used to the wild party lifestyle that most people associate with being a celebrity before he became famous, and after Friends ended, he admits to being arrested for drunk driving. Twice. I used to be young and stupid. I wasn't driving fast, just crooked, he claimed when he was announced as one of the hosts of the new Top Gear, following Jeremy Clarkson's public firing, and fans were split on whether a proclivity for dangerous driving was a plus or a minus when it came to hosting a show about having fun with automobiles. LeBlanc dismisses the episodes as a result of his age, though he has expressed gratitude that the mugshots were never released to the press. Number 8. And nearly had a nervous breakdown. While his drunk driving record occurred before the star's fame and money, LeBlanc, like many of his co-stars, experienced some dark periods as a result of his sudden celebrity. The star came close to having a nervous breakdown as a result of the stress of working on Friends, especially after the sitcom, and its failed spin-off, Joey, ended. For years and years, I scarcely left the house. I was burned out. I wanted to not have a schedule, not be any place, LeBlanc has stated. I was in a position to do that. Most actors call their agents and say, what's up? I'd call mine and say, please lose my number for a few years. It was a very dark time. I almost had a mental breakdown, he continued. Number 7. Jennifer Aniston didn't invite any of her castmates to her wedding. In addition to holding a huddle before each episode began production and negotiating their salary as a group, the ensemble was frequently photographed together and spoke about how close they stayed after filming concluded, with Jennifer Aniston even serving as godmother to Courtney Cox's children. However, when Aniston married Justin Thoreau in 2015, she didn't invite any of her male co-stars to the ceremony, despite the fact that it was a small wedding with only 70 guests, which included Cox and Kudrow. Matthew Perry was surprised that he wasn't invited, but expressed his happiness for the couple despite the snub. Number 6. David Schwimmer's neighbors hated him. Even celebrities have feuds with their neighbors, and David Schwimmer is no exception. In 2010, the actor purchased an 1852 townhouse in the East Village, and the land it stood on, of course. Schwimmer, on the other hand, decided that rather than renovating it to keep the facade, he would just tear it down and start over, which is something that many property developers are known for, but it's not always a popular choice. 
As a result, an anonymous neighbor spray painted the words, Ross is not cool, on the construction site fence, which hilariously echoed a storyline from the show in which Ross moves into a new building and becomes enemies with the neighbors by refusing to contribute to the maintenance man's retirement gift. Number 5. An airport scene was cut after 9-11. When Monica and Chandler went on their honeymoon, they found themselves competing with another newlywed couple in every line. It was a cute storyline that suited their characters, but it wasn't the one intended for the episode. The two were pushed up to first class on the plane, but were then pulled aside by airport security after Chandler made a bomb joke, which tied in perfectly with another storyline involving Joey and Phoebe being shut out of their apartment. However, because the episode was scheduled to run two weeks after 9-11, the network made the obvious decision to reshoot, albeit the original scenes were later released to be watched in the spirit in which they were originally intended. Number 4. The cast wanted to reject the reincarnated mom story. In The One with the Cat, another unpleasant scenario made it to the small screen. This episode included a cat jumping into Phoebe's guitar bag, prompting Phoebe to believe it was her mother reincarnated. Even for Phoebe, this one became a little strange, and the rest of the cast and writers were reportedly against including it. However, it is said that writer Marta Kaufman proposed the narrative concept after the death of her own mother, and as a result, none of the others felt comfortable dismissing it. It wasn't the only plot that the cast didn't care for. They've revealed that the Rachel-Joey pairing was despised by everyone, not just the show's fans. Number 3. Chandler's awkwardness is inspired by Matthew Perry's character. Each of the friend's characters has been claimed to have a strong resemblance to the actress who plays them. Rachel's elegance, Monica's drive, and Joey's womanizing. Chandler, on the other hand, was inspired by Matthew Perry, or at least some aspects of his personality were. Perry's awkwardness around women stemmed from a conversation he had with the filmmakers about his own life, and even his trademark stress on the word, B. Could he be more famous for that? was based on how Perry naturally spoke. Of course, both attributes were exaggerated for the show, but it's fascinating to note that they were based solely on Perry in real life. Number 2. Matt LeBlanc was feared by the rest of the cast. Joey is far from a scary guy, but when Matt LeBlanc was first cast in the role, some of the other cast members were a little bit afraid of him. This apprehension stemmed from what they knew about LeBlanc, that he was reared by a mechanic and had worked as a male model, as well as what they knew about Joey, who was notorious for being a forthright womanizer. Aniston, in particular, recalls feeling intimidated before meeting LeBlanc. I used to be afraid of that type of guy, but now he thinks it's hilarious, and he can sit down and comfort me just like Courtney or Lisa, she explained. It's a good thing LeBlanc, despite a difficult start, turned out to be just as sweet as Joey. Number 1. Jennifer Aniston disliked Rachel. For those who didn't grow up in the 1990s, the Rachel was Rachel's classic short layered haircut, which needed a name because half of the women watching the show instantly went out and requested their hairstylists to reproduce it for them. Rachel Green's unique layered style became so famous that even celebrities and supermodels were sporting it. Rachel, on the other hand, was the only one who despised the Rachel. Jennifer Aniston admitted that the haircut was sort of cringe why for me, and that it was the ugliest hairstyle I've ever seen. What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications before you go. Thanks for watching.